Simvastatin, sold under the brand name Zocor, is a statin drug. Statin drugs are used to lower cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood. Simvastatin is used for the treatment of high cholesterol and high triglycerides. Simvastatin is also used for prevention of heart attack, stroke, and other heart complications in people who have coronary artery disease or diabetes. When we take a medication, we usually take for granted that it will work. In reality, there is a lot that goes into how your body responds to a medication. Medications are processed in the liver. The SLCO1B1 gene tells the body how to make liver cell membrane transport proteins. These membrane transport proteins influence how much simvastatin is taken into the liver for processing. Variants in the SLCO1B1 gene can impair liver uptake activity, causing simvastatin to build up in the body. If simvastatin builds up in the body, serious side effects like myopathy or muscle weakness can occur. Each gene associated with drug metabolism, including SLCO1B1, is expected to have multiple sites of variation. Simvastatin response is determined by a combination of genetic variants or SNPs in the SLCO1B1 gene. Each combination of genetic variants or SNPs is called a haplotype. There can be many different combinations of variants for each gene. To help identify the different combinations, a numbering system is sometimes used. In the example, one combination of variants in the SLCO1B1 gene may be called star 3, while another is called star 5. The DNA sequence that makes a protein with normal or typical function is usually called star 1. Since we have two copies of each gene, one from mom and one from dad, each person will have a combination of variants called a haplotype from each parent. When genetic testing is performed, the results are noted as two numbers, one representing each combination of variants in that gene separated by a slash. For example, someone who inherited the combination of variants from their mother known as star three and the combination known as star five from their father would be a star three slash star five for the gene tested. Some people have combinations of variants that are rare and have not been studied or named. Sometimes the genetic test that is performed cannot determine a person's result with certainty. Haplotypes or combinations of genetic variants can be used to predict a person's liver uptake activity level. For example, someone with a star 3, star 5 haplotype would be predicted to have reduced liver uptake activity and would be at increased risk of myopathy or muscle weakness when taking a 40 mg per day or higher dose of simvastatin. Based on your genetic result, you will be placed into a predicted liver uptake activity level category. Individuals predicted to have reduced liver uptake activity are at a high risk of myopathy when taking a 40 mg per day or higher dose of simvastatin. Individuals with intermediate liver uptake activity are at a moderately increased risk of myopathy when taking a 40 mg per day or higher dose of simvastatin. Those with typical liver uptake activity are expected to have a typical response to a standard dose of simvastatin. Your predicted liver uptake activity level may be useful to your healthcare provider in making dosing decisions if you need to take simvastatin. It is important for you and your healthcare provider to keep in mind that the assigned liver uptake activity level is based only on your SLCO1B1 genetic results. Other information, such as your age, weight, or other medications, may determine the dose and type of drugs that you are prescribed. In some cases, genetic testing provides some information to help determine the liver uptake activity level, such as reduced or intermediate, but the specific liver uptake activity level cannot be predicted. In other rare cases, the CPMC will not be able to predict a liver uptake activity level due to a technical limitation in the testing process. Your personal CPMC results will show how common each liver uptake activity level is in your racial or ethnic group. You can view this information in your personal report by clicking on the About tab and then the How Common tab. Information is not available for all racial or ethnic groups. 
If data is not available for your race or ethnicity, your report will include information for the Caucasian population. Some drugs, when taken with simvastatin, can increase blood levels of simvastatin, which increases the risk of liver damage and the breakdown of skeletal muscle. Talk to your healthcare provider if you are taking simvastatin in addition to any of the following drugs. Antifungal medications, macrolide antibiotics, HIV protease inhibitors, hepatitis C medications, blood pressure medications, antiarrhythmia medications, gemfibrazil, cyclosporine, danazole, renolazine. Taking simvastatin with a blood thinning drug such as warfarin or coumadin may increase how well the blood thinning drug works and may increase the risk of bleeding. It is important that you talk to your healthcare providers about all of the medications, both over the counter and prescription, as well as supplements that you are taking as they may interact with simvastatin. Do not make any changes to your medications without talking to your healthcare providers. Some foods when consumed while taking simvastatin can increase blood levels of simvastatin, which increases the risk of limber damage and breakdown of skeletal muscle. Avoid drinking grapefruit juice or eating grapefruit if you are taking simvastatin. Variants in the SLCO1B1 gene may affect your response to other statin drugs, such as atorvastatin, pravastatin, and rosuvastatin, to a lesser extent. No significant side effects for these other statin drugs have been associated with variants in the SLCO1B1 gene. Talk to your healthcare providers about all of the medications, both over-the-counter and prescription, as well as any supplements that you are taking. As usual, there will be a lot of information in your CPMC results. Some of it will be general information and some of it will be personalized to you based on your genetic test results. The About tab will provide general information. The Results tab will contain your personalized result, what we found in your DNA, and an interpretation of how your result impacts your liver uptake activity level and whether or not you are expected to respond well to simvastatin or if you may need a different dose or a different statin drug. As you can see in the sample report, the CPMC tests for four variants in the SLCO1B1 gene. Each variant tested is listed by its RS number. This is the number used by scientists to name genetic variants. In the second column, you will find your results highlighted in yellow. Because we have two copies of every gene, one from mom and one from dad, everyone tested will have two results represented by letters, for example, CC, for each variant tested. In the last column, we give the reference value or expected result. Above the table, we provide the name for your combined genetic result. In some cases, your combined genetic result may be uncertain. See the Your Result Interpretation tab for the impact of your combined genetic result on liver uptake activity level and your predicted response to simvastatin. Your result interpretation will give you information about how your combination of genetic variants impacts your expected liver uptake activity level and whether or not you are expected to respond well to simvastatin or if you may need a different dose or a different statin drug. For some results, we will not be able to provide an interpretation. It is important to note that CPMC testing alone cannot fully predict your response to simvastatin or any type of drug. Other factors like weight, gender, race, or other health conditions and other medications may also influence the way a person will respond to simvastatin and other drugs. It is possible that you may have other genetic variants that occur in the SLCO1B1 gene that are not tested by the CPMC. Also, it is possible that you may have variants in other genes that influence your response to simvastatin. For more information about your CPMC simvastatin drug response results, consider sharing your CPMC results with your healthcare provider or contact a CPMC genetic counselor. You can also read the information provided on the CPMC Health Education page.